Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So I'm out here on the dining room table because I have a lot of glass out here that I've got quite a few decanters to show you. So I thought I'd do it with a bit more room than in my little pit. Um, so I'm going to talk about um, fake or faux neck rings. That's the word I like to use because I'm posh. Yeah, uh, sounds good. Sounds very antique doesn't it? I've made it up because yeah, nobody, they're not net specifically named in any books that I've seen. So yeah, so these are real ones. These are fake ones. Yeah, so, and, and my plan is to show you what, what the real ones in detail look like and then show you a whole bunch of, of fake ones or faux ones. And, um, and there's different kinds of faux ones as well and some of them more obvious than others and some you can't hardly tell so yeah um but with that said so i have a reference i'm going to show you first to show you um how the real ones are made and then w as we're going through i can show you the fake ones and you'll realize that why they're fake okay so um with that said let's get on have a look at the reference so before um we dive into um fake neck rings, I wanted to be absolutely clear about what a real neck ring is. Um, so this is The Curiosities of Glassmaking by Apsley Pellet. I think this book is from something like 1839, I think somewhere around that time anyway. So they're actually showing you how to make a ring to decanter. And this, really is, this is where it starts to get important. From E, got E and F, this page bit here. And the mouth is warmed up and shaped. Another workman then gathers upon the ponty iron, and this is the ponty iron here. Um, small piece of glass, which is dropped on the part where the ring is required. So basically, um, you've got a chunk of molten glass on the end of a metal rod, and you're, and as it's dripping, it you allow it to fall onto the ring by rotating the decanter circle the ring uh, becomes welded to the um, becomes welded by contact I think it says let me just I can go to the next page for the end by contact and its surplus is tapered and torn away sudden suddenly away the hole is reheated and the percellers are then pressed upon the ring of the decanter while rotating rotating upon the inclined plate. the percellers for forming the rings differ from common tools in having two dies affixed to the prongs which dies being pressed upon the ring hot or crack so basically you i'll show you what a percella is because i've actually done that so basically a percella this is a percella so what they're talking about is uh, you'd basically have a pair of tongs like this and they would have a little rounded bit on the end that you would then um, press so that when you pressed it against the ring, it would form, make the ring into proper shape, and then you turn the bottle, and it would squeeze the hot glass into the shape of the die that's set on the end of here. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing we're talking about. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to skip back to the glass. I'm going to show you uh, an actual ring and see how you can see that it is a ring that's been added. So with that, um, I'm going to show you a couple of decanters with real rings on. Um, this one, start with this one, let's get the stopper out. And um, yeah, so if I get this close, get it to focus on the, there we go. You can see under the glass there, that it looks like there's a fracture. And that's actually where they've put the strip round and joined it together when it was like it was saying in the book and if you go around and look at all of them very carefully you can see I picked this one specifically because uh, dirt's got in the back let's see if we can get it to focus again focus yeah you can see there there's like a line running across where the join is but they've run a tool around to make it this shape so it's really smooth all the way around the outside but underneath you can actually still see um, keeps unfocusing there so yeah where the no this I'll put that in front of my face there focus on that there so you can see where the line is underneath and you'll see this and sometimes you'll see a little blob on the top of the ring um, so you can tell or if you look 
into the top of the ring. Let's see if I can get this to focus here, just here. Um, is it going to focus just there? You can see this little bit where you can see the join just inside where the ring is against the side of the decanter. So yeah, so these are these are real neck rings. I'll, I'll pull this decanter out. This one, yeah, it's got four rings. <laughs> and these are applied, they're obviously applied, but it's so well done. Oh, come on, focus. It's so well done, um, you have problems trying to figure out um, where the joints are. So you can't, this thing just wants to focus on my eyes the whole time. Um, yeah, so you can't always tell, yeah. You just have to look at how it's attached. And, and um, when I show you some of the faux ones, it'll become more obvious. So I'm showing you a bunch of um, Stuart Crystal decanters here. And um, yeah, so these, these are probably all pre-war or po just post-war. I, I think they made this, this type of neck ring up until the 1980s or till 1980. I think only with two, but pre-war they were doing them with three like this one here. Um, which one would be, the, this one's probably the best one to show you. So this is a Woodchester one. This is a pattern from 1930s and yeah, they made this for quite a long time. But if I take the stopper off, the ring here is, um, yeah, it's, if I put my finger inside, you can see it goes, it's actually, I can feel it. it's pressed out from the inside as opposed to um, being something that's attached. There's no, no, there's no loop of glass that's been put around and pressed into shape to make this. It's all been pressed out from the inside. So it's not, to me, this is just the body, the body of the neck of the decanter just pressed out to make it look like a ring. And it's not really a true neck ring, not to me anyway. So yeah, and that's why I'm calling them faux because you know, faux is French for fake. So I've got a couple of Regency decanters here and um, yeah, so they, they kind of like superficially look like they've got neck rings cut on them. Um, let's go with this one because it's smaller and lighter. But if you get close, what you'll see is that actually the surface of this ring is actually the surface of the bottle before it was cut. And all they've done is they've cut these panels into it and they've stopped cutting and left the original surface of the, of the decanter um, just flat. So that it's now protruding above where, it's, where the glass has been cut away. And um, yeah, so these are not applied rings. They've just been created by like intaglio glass, basically cutting away everything else and leaving these raised up. So you can see the actual surface of these conforms to the shape of the bottle. Yeah, so it's just a, a technique used to make the look. This one's similar, can you see? Where the, the, the ring is just the pure surface, uncut surface of the bottle and the bits that's in between has been cut away to make these fake rings stick out. Yeah, this one's got four rings, that one's got three. No, oh no, that one's got four as well. Most of them have three. I don't know why I picked two with them. Four on, but anyway, there you go. So I've got another Regency decanter here. And um, yeah, it's another one where basically the rings have been created by cutting away or they probably molded the surface a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can see they're not it's not a strip of glass that's been applied. It is actually the sur surface of the glass that's been cut away. It's a bit like, because this, this is a um, pillar cut. And basically these are horizontal pillars that have been cut round um, the bottle to make these neck rings. Um, something I didn't point out earlier, and I'll do it now, which I should have done, is the neck rings are there for you to grip. Can you see how it fits in my hand? So you can grip the bottle. Yeah, um, I'm not, this is a probably a late 18th century bottle uh, and I'm not a late 18th century person. So my hands are a bit big 
for it. Um, so yeah, that's that's what those rings are there for. Why they put these fake ones on and this is basically grippy bits on the bottles. Um, so anyway, that's this is. I would say this is more like cushion cutting maybe I think it might be called I'm not certain that seems to be ringing a bell to me but it looks like neck rings but it isn't so these are the least ringy at all they they basically cut grips effectively into the surface of the bottle these do protrude a little bit but they're you know they're People might call them rings, and I've seen people call these neck rings, and they're not, they're just, it's just cutting in the surface. Yeah, and this one, um, yeah, this is, I think this is Anglo-Irish one, this one, in fact, they both are, count as that. But you can see, look, these, they've just made it very grippy, so you don't, doesn't slip in your hand. Um, this one's particularly nice because um, the top of the stopper, you can see, matches the neck. So they've cut these steps and the little fine diamonds on it, just like they have on the neck. So yeah, that's quite a nice matching piece, that one. And this is the last decanter I'm going to show you. This is another sort of like Lake Georgian Regency one. And this one is a, is a isn't it question? So have a look at this. These rings do stand a bit proud of the sur what would have been the surface of the original bottle. The question is, have these been applied or not? And, and the answer is, I'm not certain. You know, um, has someone just squidged up a bit of glass to make these? I've looked at it very carefully. The surfaces are cut surfaces on these rings. Yeah, I mean, they've a bit like you make a cabochon jewel where you basically cut it into a round shape. I can feel that this is cut. Um, I've looked at them very carefully and I can't see any join underneath. So I think these are faux rings as well. They're not applied as a separate piece of glass. Um, yeah, these come with a lovely solid stopper. So um, and you can see it's kind of like out of the same stable as this one. If you look at it side by side, it has a similar kind of look. Um, this one's got more panel cutting, but some of them are only cut to here as well, just like this one. And some of these are cut all the way down as well. So yeah, it is a specific look. Um, uh, and I'm not sure either of these rings are real uh, separately applied neck rings. So yeah, that's the glass. Oh, please. So I hope you like that little dive into my collection to try and show you something a bit different about decanters. I know, it, my channel is called Love Decanters. I just like decanters, you know. So uh, there's something about them, for me anyway. Um, and they they come with their own social history that's kind of died now. People don't really use them. I only use mine occasionally. Um, so yeah, I've got way more than I can ever use. Um, and people have said, why do you know, in, when I'm doing it in my office, why don't, why aren't they all full, filled? That's because those shelves would collapse. They're only IKEA specials. Um, so anyway, um, the reference I use will be in the description below. And I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a good night. Good night. <laughs>